We're at the corporate headquarters of Starbucks to tell the stories of veterans. And you see what 17,000 like veteran and spouses and family members actually look like. It gives you a greater appreciation for how many people they really are hiring. One of the most important things I can do for any spouses or veterans that come in here is give them a spot. All right, so we are live from the Dallas airport right now, closing up shop for a lovely, lovely day that we spent in Dallas. This, the day made it worth Don't be being, ugly. being Don't at be the Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Don't there, be ugly. It. Yes, the, uh, the airport here situation is bad, but let's focus on the positives. Yes. We started our day going to the Adaptive Training Facility. Yep. And it was awesome. The Adaptive Training Foundation is a great organization, and what they do is they basically take veterans not even just veterans but people who have a disability or a physical injury or mental injury and let them start their life being active welcome to the global headquarters of the adaptive training foundation my name is david vibora the founder and ceo and we are going to tour david vibora he was an nfl player who faced his own injury handsome fellow shout out to his wife yeah david vibora he's walking through this parking lot in 2015 he sees a veteran and says hey why don't you come work out at my gym how did the learning process transition from being an NFL guy to helping wounded warriors? I think the learning just doesn't stop. I think I've always been curious. I was Mr. Irrelevant, 2008 last pick, became a starter. So like, I knew through hard work I could achieve success, and that's why the gym's always been my sanctuary or the conduit to do so. And so now it's like, I, I think the, the transfer for me is not so much you're not looking at cover two and the X's and O's, the formula's different, but the structure's the same. Like, I'm gonna use physical as the entry point when people come in here, but I'm working on what's festering between the ears. <laughs> When you walked in, you came Absolutely. in, you slapped somebody on the butt. And, like, I think that there's a lot of times that veterans are treated like they're broken. They don't want to be treated like that. They want to be treated fucking normally. Yeah. Yeah, and if I, you treat people broken, they act broken. I don't right. know who they are, what their background right. is, right? Seeing these guys and gals working out today was motivating as fuck. I have, like, a serious, like, lady moto boner from the whole day. I got the opportunity to ride with the Blue Angels. Oh, uh, This is his VT-22 Squadron's flight suit. Um, the flag that flew in combat and this fireman just uh, custom framed this whole thing for me, so. That's Pretty sick. awesome. Yeah. Holy Freedom crap. Freedom boner for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, pardon me, the yeah. silky is totally this awesome. thing in my waistband <laughs> and I'll uh, proceed on. Yeah, show us all your cool stuff. Are you goofy or regular? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. Hey, 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 less is more, less is more. There you go. Nailing it. No camera is safe right now, dude. Jump to the wall. Just jump off. Me have to. Oh, oh yes! Ow! Oh. You all right? Yeah. Slow off. <laughs> hey, this is how we create athletes. We keep our demand up by hurting people all the time. I legit rolled my ankle to shit, though. I'm trying to get out of the workout. Fuck. <laughs> we feel so bad for you. This is a critical, critical attitude that we have here. You see it says sympathy box. Your excuses are invalid. So if you want sympathy, you can stand in the box. You're not going to get it anywhere in this gym. I crashed into the Starbucks display. Hurt your ankle. <laughs> Hurt my ankle, and it's still hurting. It's still, it's still hurting, jolly. Charlie. It's still oh, hurting. Jolly. So. Um, but yeah, it, that was, and so then I got stuck being the only one working Little out. Charlie bet my That was a weird reference for the kids at home. I'm out. Hey. Of shape, <laughs> and it's embarrassing. It's a rough spot in here to be like, my ankle really hurts because I rolled it. Like when you have amputees and people going through serious shit. So you're supposed to do two minutes on there for a warm up, right? Yeah, and I just did like two and a half, almost oh, three. Overachiever. Have you ever stepped foot in the sympathy box? I've probably rolled over it. Yeah. <laughs> I tried going to a gym back home. One of the personal trainers there was like, okay, well, I'll just put you through a quick little physical eval just to see where you're at, and then we can build from there. With the, mo the lack of mobility in my feet and ankles, I just wasn't able to do. And the guy was like, I'm not exactly sure how I can help you. Yeah. Wow. But now that I'm here and I can do all these things, that's part of one of the things that I want to take back is I'm hoping to potentially become a trainer myself. And that's awesome. Myself. And then set up shop across the street from that guy. <laughs> and take no, him out. Yeah, I, I don't know yeah. about that. Gotta go. Go. Yes. Still smiling, brother. Still smiling. Cool. I'm doing a penguin yes. thing. If someone could drop a small albacore in my mouth, that would be optimal. Yeah, could someone One baby bird me? Uh, so earlier, I rolled my ankle, and I don't want to like completely get out of a workout. I'm still gonna grind. He did get injured. I think it was staged. I think he fell off that thing on purpose. Classic chaps. 
feeling the burn though. Lots of people have excuses for stuff. Not me. But that was a little, there you go. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm dragging a wagon. I believe in Texas they call that a honky tonk badonka dunk. It's probably a sex device, I would imagine. Oh, come on, don't leave it on neutral. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a sex device for sure. Okay, so you're gonna adapt. You don't have a right arm anymore. Yes? Yes? That's a lot actually. Seven. There it is. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Up to two calories now. Probably heard myself a bagel or something. Nailed it. I like it when people feel bad for me, so this is a good spot for me to be in. This guy yelled at for being in a sympathy box again. They don't like my excuses. But my ankle hurts. That didn't help at all. <laughs> Don't fart, don't fart, don't fart, don't fart. <laughs> I'm trying not to stand in the sympathy box because I'm really out of shape. All right, just finishing up with some a light stretching. Everybody's basically onto the lighter portion of their workouts. Nobody's really doing anything tough like the bikes or anything anymore. I feel good. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done today. My heart rate got up. I feel alive, which is nice. Can't ask for much more. Oh. Ah, oh, that's a deep stretch. All right, I'm ready for some tacos. It is really hard for these guys and gals to come in and face the struggles that they have and deal with it, but they do it. So I, I really... One aspect of that I really like too is whenever they, it was clear that they all talked to each other. Like, even if you're not, not doing the physical thing, I think a, a big portion of this today is that you need to find a group of people who are like-minded, that you treat with respect, that you can bust their balls and yeah. ultimately have your back. Sense That's, of familiarity, yeah. it's you and your friends just right. sticking around. Yeah, it was awesome. Chaps, I got an idea for an original show. What is it, friend? Military spouses in cars getting coffee. Love it. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Carly, what can I get started for you? Do you have any military spouses in there? Be sure to, you're talking to one. Oh, well, I hope it's all right. We're going to swing around, pick up our drinks, and maybe pick you up. Ooh, I like it. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'll see you at the window. See you at the window. I'm uncomfortable. Hi, guys. You hey. Have a yes, that is us. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, again, I hope it's not weird, but do you want to come in our van? I can go for a ride. Yep, you can come <laughs> yes. for a ride. Let's, Let's go. go. Right, we'll see you in a minute. Bring her out. First of all, I like your hat. Oh, We're both thanks. big hat people. Real okay. quick, what's the most complicated order that you can name right now? Oh. Three, two, one. Favorite duty station? Warming. Best dessert in the cooler? Oh, ice lemon pancake. Why is the carbonation machine broken sometimes? Oh, well, actually, the carbonation machine has actually been um, discontinued and removed from the stores. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. That happened oh. a few years ago. Favorite color? Gray. Is there anything like a man in uniform? Well, that's a little bit of a personal problem. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How did you wind up? Because you seem really enthusiastic, loving the flair. How did you wind up at Starbucks? So um, I actually started working at Starbucks in 2012 as a barista. Um, I ended up leaving the company for a little while, and I came back as a military spouse. Starbucks, thankfully, has made a commitment to like the military families to employ us and help us find a job and help us like reconnect back into the business world. All right, well, we brought you back safe and sound. Well, I appreciate that. Cake pops all around. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, you're the best for this. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I'll get out. Now we're heading in, uh, right? I'm stiff. Oh. Can you need help? I know, yeah. Old, old rickety marine. Right. <laughs> okay. And then after the gym, we went to one of those iFly indoor skydiving things, and holy shit. Ooh. Hopefully Chaps is better at this than he is on that one-wheeled machine thing. I have a question about people with little legs for other people. What's Does up? little legs affect anything? They don't do much, no. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> little legs. I got one leg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I have a long torso, so I get camel toe. Good luck for you, man. Feel free to slide into my DMs. I was nervous. I knew my cheeks were going to be flapping around in there, but once you're in the wind tunnel, it's really cool. And there was people who 
all sorts of injuries. Everybody was in there. And the one guy said to me, I love it because I feel weightless and I feel like I can really just like yeah. stretch out and like, how did you do in there? I loved it. I thought yeah. I crushed it. You there. did. I you thought I, I got the hang of it pretty quickly. I think a lot of it's because of my legs allow me to be very aerodynamic. I was afraid there. they were going to snap off. They I was afraid you were going to hit the wall. See, wind. they might be small, but they're very strong. I thought I was going to crash you into hit the wall. Hit yeah. the wall pretty hard. So I was like, what are you going to hurt yourself? I loved it. Did anybody else drool in there? No. I just you. literally well, had. Because you were doing the classic Kate face with your tongue out of your mouth and you're happy. I had so much <laughs> drool going up my face in the wind. It was like going into my glasses and I was like. <laughs> 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 so gross. I thought you might have done like an excited pee, like you're a young <laughs> Shetland pony. Nope, nope. I wish, but no, straight drool. I could not stop it flying out. So we're making a good impression for Zero Blog 30, and this has been quite the adventure. Cheers.